Hey everybody, so as you can see, I am back home in my bedroom. Um, so yeah, which is kind of ironic considering the video I'm going to be doing today. But I'm going to be doing, I don't even know what the title of this video is going to be, but I'm basically going to be not even updating you, but kind of telling you all about my first two months of college. And I mentioned this in my most recent life update, but I was going to do one of these for the first month, but it just never happened. So I've been in school for eight weeks now. Next week will be the official like two months since the first date of school, but it's been eight weeks. So it's been a good while and I just wanted to tell you that I will be doing a video that someone requested which is a brilliant video idea and it is going to be comparing high school and college so that'll probably be a real talk maybe I don't know if I'll title it a real talk or not but that'll be coming up sometime soon but I just wanted to talk to you guys about school first I wanted to uh, show you what I'm wearing because, at least on the upper half, because this is so, like, college. Usually I don't wear makeup, that's one one thing, but also these type of things, like the workout gear, yeah, that's what people wear. It's really nice, like, yoga pants, get a bunch before college. But I just have this, um, this kind of, like, sweatshirt pullover type thing. It's really stretchy. It's actually from Old Navy, and it's really nice. I really like it. I didn't even think about what I'm going to say, so I'm sorry if this is, like, completely scatterbrained. But, yeah, first two months of college. It's definitely been different, but the same as well. And, like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole other video, college versus high school. But... It's been different yet the same and obviously there's the aspect of being away from home. I'm living in a dorm so it's completely different. I'm all by myself, not technically because you know you have, I have a sweet mate and there's people all around us but you know you're living on your own so it's a big adjustment. You go from being in high school where everything is planned out and then all of a sudden you're in college and there you are like everything is up to you so it's very different you know you have to buy groceries and cleaning supplies and it's just weird like you have to do grown-up things just like that and it's weird because I've always been the type of person that's been very like shy to talk to people in like stores or ask for help and it's like as soon as I went to college all of that went away like when I come home and go shopping now I'll ask questions all the time I'll get help it's just weird like it changes you in an instant but it certainly is different as for my campus and me I mean I'm pretty sure this is with most big schools my campus is humongous it's so big and it is all hilly it's not flat like what you see on TV no that doesn't exist for me it's all hilly so when people talk about freshman 15 I'll get the opposite. I'll, I will lose 15 pounds, I'm sure. Like, I don't know how anyone could gain 15 pounds on our campus unless you're literally never going to class and just chugging beer all day long because it's so much walking. And especially for me, I my dorm is like on the total opposite of campus. I'm literally the furthest walk from camp, from the main buildings. So I have a long walk. I'm, I usually have a 10, 15 minute walk to class every day um, or to certain classes. It's really confusing. But yeah, and it's all uphill. L like I'm not even joking. It's all uphill. And even when you think it's flat, it, there's, there's a little grade. So <sighs> that's rough. That's definitely different having to walk around and like find things. But also the... Like living on your own and friend making. And I'm going to, this is interesting because um, you guys know I've always been very, not even antisocial, but just I'm very introverted. I could not talk to people for a week, just stay in my room 
and watch Netflix and be completely fine. And that's what I do. And it's just hard because in high school you are forced to be with the same people for, for some people, 13 years if you're with them all the way from kindergarten to senior year. So you're spending a lot of time with these same people. So it's easier and you're more comfortable with these people. But when you go to college and there's 30,000 people and they all kind of do what they want and you're all spread out on campus, it's really difficult to make friends and find people who have the same interests because even if you find people that are in multiple classes with you, their personalities might be completely different. And I've definitely found that. There's a few people who are in two of my classes and I just don't click with them. And I find that it's because I'm very, very independently driven. I'm very motivated, very like follow the rules, go to class and do your work. I'm, you know, very like that. And people in college are not like that. They're not. The stereotype is fairly true when you think of college kids. I'm not in the sorority or fraternity scene whatsoever. So I'm not even sure, you know, what that's like or whatever. But yeah, Thursday night when it's college night, people get crazy. People come, people will come into class on Friday with sunglasses on. I guarantee it. It happens all the time. And you're just like, okay, yeah, whatever. There's, you know, yesterday was Thursday. Today's Friday. I expect it. But it's weird. So friend making has been very difficult. There, are, I've honestly made, like I've, I have acquaintances now. And it's, you'll learn that it's hard going to college because in high school, you know, there was a very big separation between school and out of school. You know, when you're in school, you talk to people, but out of school, you may never hang out with people. And that's always how I am. Like, I have my friends that I hang out with outside of school, and we've been friends for years and years and years and years. But the people that I talk to in school, I never hang out with. They're never real friendships. And that's what's difficult about college is that you kind of get in that same routine, like you're like, yeah, we can talk about school stuff or kind of like shallow stuff, you know, not deep, real friendship stuff. But then you're still like, you know, less than a mile away from them. Like you literally live on the same campus and it's just awkward. Like for me, how I've kind of thought about this and I was texting my friend um, and she agreed with me. It feels like you're at a long summer camp where you're with the same people, but it feels like it's gonna end at some point. And so you don't feel the need to get close to people because you're like, yeah, I have friends back home, but those friends aren't always gonna be there. And you know, if you go home, they're not necessarily gonna be there. So it's just weird. I've found that very difficult um, making like real friends. But then again, like as much as I worry about it, I don't need other people. It sounds really cold hearted, but it's true. I'm very just individualistic, independent. I like to be on my own, do my own thing. I have a lot of reading and that is a bitch, but it's true. That's one of the biggest differences is that it's reading, 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 reading. And when you think you're almost done, you still have like a hundred more pages. It's brutal. One of the things that people talk a lot about when you get to college, they'll say, you need time management skills, you need time management skills, and you'll go into college thinking like, okay, whatever. And then you get to college and you have all of this free time and you're like, why do people talk about time management? You literally have like hours upon hours of free time. But that's exactly, it's like backwards of what you think time management is, but it's, Taking all of those hours and instead of watching Netflix or YouTube, guilty, you read or you actually do homework because there's no one in college that's going to hound you for not doing homework. You know, you'll just get a zero or, you know, if you don't go to class, they're going to be like, okay, whatever, too bad on, like, that's on you. So you have to be, you have to somehow be driven to do these things on your own. So that's kind of different. Personally, I've never had problems like that. I think I've been 
I've been prepared for college for years and 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 years. And years. Way before I went to college, I think I could have done totally fine just because it's in my, it's part of my personality. And I, I read in a book for one of my classes something, and I totally agree. I'm good at school. I, oh, it sounds so bad when I start to talk about it, but I've never really struggled with school, to be completely honest. There's not a single subject that I really, really, really struggle with. So I'm very well-rounded, I grasp a lot of concepts easily, but it's because I'm so focused and I'm so into school. I love school, but I'm just, I'm good at school. And some people aren't. And you'll find that in college there are people who are not good at school. I'm, I'm going to try not to get on my education soapbox because I am in education classes. So I know a lot about school. Um, but yeah, that is one thing that I also want to talk about really quick is in relation to my major. So since I'm an education major, I actually think it's one of the harder majors. And you may think, are you kidding? You're studying, you're studying to become a teacher? Yeah, right. That is so not hard. But in my mind, we have to do double the work. Not only do we have to learn the material to teach, we have to learn how to teach it. So there are two totally different things. You know, when you go in and are an engineer, yeah, you have to learn all this stuff to be an engineer, but do you have to learn a million techniques on how to teach someone how to do something in engineering? Do you have to teach them or do you have to learn how to be a motivator and someone who is a support system for the learner? No. As long as you know it, you're good. So learning how to teach is something that's way different and makes takes it to a whole other level. So that's definitely interesting as for years to come. But yeah, um, also eating is really crazy. There is a dining hall. I don't like that. Um, so you kind of have to learn like what you like and where everything is because for me all the good places are kind of far away. I mean not really like it's not a huge deal but when you're in your room the last thing you want to do is walk 10 minutes to go get something to eat and then 10 minutes back and who knows how long the wait is going to be so like you could be I could be sitting in my dorm and think Mm, I really want Chick-fil-A, but I want Chick-fil-A now. I don't want Chick-fil-A in half an hour, you know, because that's the time it takes me to go, wait in line, and come back. So it's just weird. And the ramen thing, that is for real. I have I have had so many cups of ramen. It's amazing, though. Oh, it's so good. If you have a Keurig, you can make it in there or, like, coffee pot with hot water or just microwave hot water and pour it in there. But, um... Yeah, luckily for me, I really like ramen. I would eat it before I went to college, so I really like it. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, I could talk about school stuff, but basically, you really don't carry anything. Um, if you have to carry textbooks, which is like, eh, it's not as enforced. I mean, I'm sure there are some like kind of science classes that you're forced to, but it's not as bad for me. Um, but yeah, and like if you carry a computer, that could be the only thing you carry, so... It's definitely a lot fewer items but yeah so I hope this kind of helped in some way I know it was kind of all over the place but hopefully I touched on all of the stuff um, one thing I will talk about that's interesting that I just thought of like dorm living it's you'll be very shocked if you have lived in like a house all your life if you live in an apartment or something like that um, it's you know obviously closer or closer that doesn't make any sense um like yeah I mean I guess more relatable or something like that but just living with people all around you and above and below you is definitely weird like there's I swear the person above me like tap dances every day so annoying like so annoying so 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 irritating I can't stand it but yeah it's very weird knowing that there's people like all around like all around you because I don't know it's just bizarre to think that there's like people with separate lives all around you but 
yeah. So I hope this was helpful in some way. Like I said, it was kind of all over the place. But hopefully I'll do some more videos to talk about, like, separate ideas. So if you have any requests for individual topics, gosh, I just heard a really weird noise, leave them in the comments down below, like if you want me to talk specifically about this or that or whatever. But yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.